Hello and welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker. And I'm joined by Michael Goldstein, CEO of City of London Group, and Jason Oakley, CEO of Recognize, at Challenger Bank, which aims to serve the small and medium-sized enterprise market once it gets regulatory approval. Jason, Michael, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. So Jason, can you tell me a little bit about really the pain points that SMEs go mm -hmm. through when trying to access financial services? What we've seen over the last decade or so, particularly since the financial crisis, is a number of the bigger banks seeing the SME sector as an area where they can cut costs. Mm -hmm. So they've denuded a lot of the skill set. And these are people that understand business and understand entrepreneurs and their cash flows. And progressively, we've seen those clients being forced migrated into call centres. And that's really frustrating for an entrepreneur because an entrepreneur wants continuity. They want accessibility. They want somebody that understands them and their business. And they want a level of responsiveness and creativity. And so we're starting to see more and more evidence now of, um, we've certainly done research that shows two thirds of the uh, SMEs that responded said, I haven't got access to a decision maker. Seven in ten are saying, I'm seriously considering an alternative banking uh, option for me. So that's, that's really, inertia is breaking down, people's expectations are growing, and there's an increasing awareness that there are alternatives and different options out there. So um, recognise really is about filling that gap, filling mm. that service gap, and, and giving um, the, the due level of respect and customer uh, service to that critically important segment of the economy. But Michael, why launch Recognise now? The SME business sector is regarded as the engine room of, of, of British, British business and the economy. And I think, as Jason has said, I think the, the SME sector feels underserved in terms of the service that it gets from the, from the four or five large, large players in the marketplace who dominate 90% of, the, of the, the whole market. So City London Group took a strategic decision. Uh, in October 17, we recapitalized the business and then we recruited Jason and uh, his colleagues, which we regard as probably the most senior team that we can see across the challenger or the potential challenger bank space. And we've now started on this journey. Um, Brexit is obviously a difficulty. It's, it's caused uncertainty within the, the economy, but nonetheless, the SME sector continues to grow year on year. The British economy, I believe, is still robust. And also the real, the real driver here, which is vital as far as we're concerned, is that we believe that there is significant political and regulatory will to actually grow the challenger bank se sector. Uh, the regulator has made it clear in its business plan that it published in the in the autumn of last year that they want 20 to 30 new entrants into the market or into the banking market mm. over the next three years. So we're very happy to provide one of those because we believe that, that this is a sector that is really worthwhile investing and it's something that we have an established interest in anyway. So yeah, so that's why City London Group make that decision and we're very much behind it and we are looking forward to a, a successful entrant. So back to you, Jason. How is Recognise really going to redefine the SME uh, banking experience? Well, I mentioned a little bit earlier that we'd done a survey of 450 SMEs, and it was really interesting, some of the findings in there. 40% um, of all of those clients have used a deposit product outside of the top five banks that Michael was mentioning. Almost a third have used a lending product, mm. and around a quarter have now got an alternative banking account to the big four or five banks. So we're, we're, we've looked at, well, what, what does an SME need and where's the gap in terms of the underserved market? And for us, it's about providing relationship directors that are available for face-to-face -to, -face to build real relationships. This market, more than any market, is about understanding the business, understanding the entrepreneur and what they need being accessible to them. So having people on the ground, but also having access to senior decision makers. So our SLA is within 24 hours of a lending opportunity, it'll go to a senior individual or committee to get quick decisions. So speed and execution is really, really important. Certainty of outcome for entrepreneurs is really important. So as well as the relationship side and continuity, we've built a technology platform that is um, within cutting edge. It's a, it's a cloud-based platform. Yeah, I was going to say, because you're leveraging the cloud. We are. And we did an, an exhaustive search on that, trying to find 
how do we blend technology, which is important, but also keep the customer-driven experience? Mm. It's not a tech play for the sake of tech play. It's not a binary algorithm, tick box, computer says yes or no. It's very much how do we complement a relationship experience using technology to make us efficient, to make us responsive. Um, and we think we've got that blend right with our IT partner. Okay. And Michael, you mentioned a little bit about how the UK regulator is really trying to open up the market. You know, do you think this year, 2019, is going to be the year for the challenger banks to make a breakthrough? Yeah, I think the tide is turning. If, if you look at the evidence of the last, I mean, it's 10 years really that we've seen any challenger, any new banks coming to the market. And our analysis is that within three years of each of those banks starting, they have become profitable. So that's a really positive. The technology, as we've said, has become more accessible in terms of cost and speed of implementation. The regulator definitely wants it. And we can see that the market wants it. We really can see from, from the conversations that we've had and, and from the surveys that we've taken that the, that the market wants it. So yes, I do believe where it is. You know, we have this five-year plan to build a, a billion pound loan book, which we think is achievable through just having three hubs in, in London, Birmingham and Manchester. So we think we can do that from a, from a, much, a very much a, uh, as Jason says, an interactive, a personal interactive basis. So yes, I think the, the tide is definitely turning. Michael, Jason, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank, thank you. you very much.